Alright you guys, this is uh, Kim Like 84 here back again. Pretty much we're gonna do a leather unboxing and review of the Aces or Asus PAZ77 VLK. This is a entry level budget motherboard. Um, thank you very much Asus Asus for this. I'm I just went back to uh, from AMD to Intel for this issue. I got myself a i5 2500K, really quite cheap. I decided to go back. This is uh, um, does SLI AMD Crossfire what I wanted to do and it does occupy works with PCI Express 3.0 I have all this connectivity GPU boost, EPU, independent control, true UACP support and network I control virtualization MVP uh, Intel technology uh, rep, uh, smart technology that's why I want to do some SSDs when on RAID 0. The chipset is Z77, supports 32 or 32, Sandy Bridge, 2nd Gen, and 3rd Gen is Ivy Bridge. Um, 32, 22 nanometer, LGA 1155, and it has HDMI built on board. So, let's so show you here. Comes with the SLI bridge. Um, SATA 6. You got two of them, 190 and one straight. I have a back plate, a driver disc with a case badge, and your strut manual guide. Just go to the latest. Aces website to get the new one and let's get this going. Show you the front of the A pin and then you have the Nord Bridge part with a nice heat sink. Usually you have right here. You have uh, three slots, PCI Express 16, 16, actually this one's going to be 8, 16. And here you have to have iBridge to support the last slot. Uh, X1, X1, and then, and then you have two PCX, PCI slots. Okay, here's already installed already my 2500K. I have the, here's the, um, the DIMM slots, 32 gigs. Max it supports 22. Oh, excuse me. Uh, overclock supports 24, 22, 21, 33, and 1866. Standard 16, 33, 10, 66, non ECC. Um, up to 32 gigs. Um, memory. If you have a K processor, it does work with onboard graphics HD, Intel HD 3000 and 4000. Here's a cell bridge. Nice. And. And here's the ideal location for the 24 pin on the corner. It has the memo K button right here and the GPU boost. A 19 pin uh, USB uh, uh, header for USB 3.0. Here is the SATA. The gray one It is actually a uh, SATA 6 gigabit, gigabit per second gray, and the other four are SATA 3 gigabit per second in blue. And that supports uh, smart, uh, smart uh, Intel Smart Respond Rapid Start technology. And then let's go here. It has one, two, three, four USB headers, 2.0, and they have serial, and they have your EPU. Here's the quick uh, connectors. It did not come with that. I don't know why. Um, it has the your fan uh, audio, then SPDF. And you could tell um, the layout is pretty good. It's a kind of a brownish color. And actually, just go over here. And here's the back plate. It has 1 2 USB 2.0, uh, keyboard and mouse, PSU. And here's the display port, HDMI, SPDF, uh, dual DVI. Uh, it's it's going to be digital, it's obvious, because of the bag right here, the back of it here. Then it has the VGA for USB 3.0, and uh, the land is the Realtek RTL 
11F gigabit line. So it's one 10 to 100, 1,000 gigabit per second line. The audio is uh, Realtek ACL A92 H channel high def. And obviously you're not going to use that. I'm, I don't really need it, but it's nice to have this feature. Um, so yeah, pretty much here's the layout, and I'll show you the back of it, color of it. Here it is. Yeah, so I mean, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. I know it's been a while. I, I made a video, been very, very busy. Um, just leave a comment and you guys hit the like button. See you guys a little bit later. This is Kill My Kitty 4.